Welcome to Serenity Productions. Is everything all right? Damn vampire hearing. Yes. <clears throat> Everything's fine. Thank you. All right. Lady Salter has informed me to tell you that you will be meeting you in the library soon. My cipher is already there with the hybrid and the... the werewolf. Thank you. I'll be right there. BB is not a monster, you pompous fucking pricks. If your leader sees them as family, you should at least have some fucking respect. Fuck. If I ever get my regular hair color back, I am never complaining about it again. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> I am so sorry. Uh, <sighs> Please, miss, I have this. I can help. <sighs> Already done. Oh, uh, right. I'll just, um... Have a good night, Mom. Right. who finally decided to wake up. I hate that we're working on a nocturnal schedule. As if my head wasn't already messed up enough. <sighs> Thanks, babe. Hmm. Oh, thank the gods they have coffee here. I wonder how survived drinking that shit they call tea. Should I even ask, how did you sleep last night? Same as I have for the last six months, Cypher. And it's not getting any better. You know, as a banshee, I feel like I should be the one dreaming of death. Well, if you would like to take over this job, I would be more than happy to pass off the responsibility to you. Mm, no, I think I'm good. <laughs> I completely agree, Lagarthia. Eve is clearly the best candidate for this. <laughs> I want you both to know that I hate you two right now. Nah, you love us. Barely. <laughs> Ugh, scales, you stink. Get off me. What the hellion have you been up to this morning? BB has been putting them through their paces. Though your mate had the common sense to take a shower before coming to our little meeting here, the dragon, on the other hand, did not. Ugh. I hear you come back in the room, babe. <laughs> More like I was in a coma. Well, you're here now, and that's all that matters. Sasha and Fang should be joining us shortly. Hopefully. They're probably going to be held up in wedding preparations again. <laughs> Knowing Fang's family, of course they are. Honestly, your aunt couldn't have thought up a better excuse as to why we all had to come here. Probably not on the fly. And not one that would keep the council from investigating. Also, remind me to send another thank you note to Mel. If she hadn't told her father to fuck off, 
we might be dealing with a fey delegate here. Already did that. I sent her three more EMPs, too. Just in case. Has she said anything about the mundane? Other than it getting worse, and now even the sightless are starting to know that something's wrong? So, nothing new. No. And Tess and Wendy are not the happiest people on the planet right now, either. I sent them a couple of weapons, and that seems to be doing the trick, at least. Seems like Harriet wasn't conning us when she told Aunt Harris she could figure out how to make weapons out of stones and runes. Yeah. I'm so happy that she's proving herself to be useful. Is that sarcasm, Sai? I really don't want to talk about it right now, Eve. I thought you and Scales handled any tension last time. Well, I did. And your aunt has been keeping a very close eye on her, so I don't have an issue with her being here. Then what's with the attitude? Like I said, I don't want to talk about it, okay? <laughs> Saved by the wedding couple. Listen, thank you very much for your inputs, but as you can see, we're late for a family meeting. We will be with you all again shortly. Thanks, help me wrap this up. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs> if I have to hear about the wedding traditions, colors, and anything else on the same topic one more time, I will scream. Aww. Having troubles with the in-laws already. Eve, I will throw a book at your head. It wouldn't be the first one she's thrown at someone this week. It wasn't like they didn't deserve it. Oh, they did. But it wasn't very ladylike of you, now was it? <laughs> if I hear that one more time too, forget the book, I'll just blow the place up. Thanks, I love you, but your family is insane. It's like they're living in the medieval times. Have none of them been to the mundane lately? Speaking of things your family needs to get on the modern era with, can we please have them stop referring to BB like they're the plague? Uh -uh. Sorry, Fangs. I'm going to call bullshit on that one. Especially since you agreed that the vampire was in the wrong in that story. BB, you are way too fucking understanding sometimes. And this is what happens when the pure blood and an alpha form a camaraderie. Everybody loses. <sighs> Sorry. A pure blood, an alpha, and a dragon hybrid. My mistake, Lagrathia. Anyway, since we have limited time, what have we found out? Well, thanks to Fang's family's immense library, we were able to find out about more about the mark that Eve has. It's similar to the old ruins that were used by the angels, and also the Nephilim. I'm sorry, what? The Nephilim. An ancient race that lived alongside the angels and the demons. In fact, the angels died out when the Nephilim came into power. Most of what we credit angels for was actually the Nephilim. We just didn't know it. It's shocking that the demons even stayed as powerful as they did. And we've never heard of them because... One of those things I guess the Council didn't want anyone remembering. They were disgraced during a cataclysmic event that was erased from every history book I can find. I was surprised I could even find these books. Must be someone in this castle that's an old one. Kept the books around as a way to remember what happened. Thanks, any idea who they are? Maybe we should find out then, and see if we can't get any information from them about what happened. Wouldn't be the worst idea. I've had a lot of questions I still haven't been able to find the answers for. Even with all these books and the ones that we borrowed... Stole. Borrowed from the city library. You are giving those back at the end of all this. Yes, Mom. Is there anything that says why I'm the one that found this damn thing and why it's on my back like a blinking target sign? Unfortunately, no. Like I said, it's similar. But there's nothing like it anywhere. I could just tell by the magical signature that they were the same after doing a few tests. You tested the runes? Yes. In a controlled environment, mind you, and they are all very potent and take a lot of magic to use. 
The Gratia helped me out with two of them, and it nearly put them on their ass. Can we use them to combat the Wraiths? Not sure. Right now, I think we're all still better off using the MPs, and now the new weapons we have. Even if we could use the runes, they would be only one-time use kind of thing. And I'm more of the devil you know person than the devil you don't. That's the other thing. We haven't heard a peep from Adia or Harlow in a year. And don't forget the lovely Cassandra either. According to Harriet, she was the go-between. They could be laying low. I know we scared Medea with the EMP. Fair. But she wanted me for something. And I would bet it was less of a something and more of a someone. Yes. How? Call it a hunch. Eve, it's just a feeling right now, Sai. If it turns into anything more concrete, I'll let you know. <sighs> Alright. So what now, then? We just keep playing with runes and wait here like sitting ducks? You know Aunt Eris is against any of us leaving the castle right now. Especially you. And I'm with her on this one, Eve. Right now you're far too valuable to lose. And so we figure out our next game plan, it's better if we just lay low here. But it's getting worse out there. You've heard the reports, more wraith attacks on villages. They're almost in the cities now. And more and more are spilling out into the mundane. We can't just wait. I thought we all agreed on that. There's a reason why we're here in the first place. That was before you went into a cave and got yourself grounded with a rune that has never been seen before, and now are a walking ball of raw, radiant magic. So I can use that to help. Absolutely not. This is not like the other runes that you got back at the pen. Don't you remember what the healer said? Your soul cracked a little, Eve. That means something. You should not use that magic unless you absolutely have to. But no. <sighs> you are not going to gamble with your life. And it's not just your life. It's the lives of others as well. What happens if the race get their hands on you? We still have no idea what their end goal is. You could be the last piece of a puzzle they need to do God's knows what. Couldn't have put it better myself, thanks. We're staying put. Fine. Eve, where are you going? To get some fresh air. I could still walk around the castle grounds at least, right? Yes. Good. Uh... I just wanted to clarify what the boundaries of my cell were. Shit. It's for her own good, Sasha. I know that. You know that. Everyone at this table knows that. But we also all know Eve. How long are we going to be able to keep her here? I don't know. But one of us is going to have to stay with her at all times. Maybe, maybe you can talk some sense into her. You're still our alpha, Bibi. And her mate. She'll listen to you. If anyone can make Eve a little less pissed off than she already is, it's you. I'm sure Skills had a compliment somewhere in there. Thank you, baby. And while you're at it, can you make sure she eats something? She needs to keep up her strength. Nope, I'm with Fangs on this one, Scales. Not the right time. Gods, I need a drink. I absolutely second that.